welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here I already know you're gonna love today's video because we are decluttering spring cleaning deep cleaning all of the sorts You might not guess this about me, but I'm a little bit of a pack rat and well, you know what? Let me just show you my hallway right now this hallway of doom is one of the many projects that I want to tackle in today's video I have some coolers that typically go in the trunk of my car But I actually want to find a spot for them in the apartment because it's really inconvenient to go down to my car to get one Whenever I want to use it, obviously I've got some frames for art that I plan to put on this wall Some of Polly's miscellaneous stuff that needs a new home this absolute maze at the front door Which is filled with a bunch of cardboard that I need to take to the package room my trusty little cart that I use to bring heavy packages up clothing wrap which these things have been dry for days. I just haven't taken them out I do have this closet right here, which is fairly organized I do need to touch it up a little bit especially the stuff up there clearly and this closet of doom yeah, we don't really even need to talk about this. We just need to start working. But aside from the mess itself and the actual maze that I have to go through to get to my front door, I really want to clean out this second closet in particular because I need a home for my new Bissell Crosswave. Let me show you a little bit more of this. Let me pull this into the living room. This is the Bissell Crosswave Hydro Steam Machine. It's a mop vacuum steam cleaner all in one. So this is rather small but mighty. And it comes with this little stand. So I think this will stand up in the closet rather nicely. So like I said, this is a mop vacuum and steam cleaner all in one so while it's vacuuming it's also mopping and it collects all of the nasty water in this little tank right here and this also has a self-cleaning mode which a lot of the feedback I've seen on products like this is that it's kind of a pain to actually clean out after use and this one self cleans and I didn't even realize that was a pain point with products like this so I'm extra thankful that this self cleans and judging by the hallway maze you can probably guess that I have not vacuum or mopped the hallway and the entryway in a while so I'll show you this baby in action later but I've had this for a couple months and it's been sitting in my hallway the whole time because I've just been procrastinating cleaning out that closet so I can have a place to keep it and I'm still procrastinating as we speak because I should stop talking about this and just get on with the project I did stop at Target I would usually say not to buy containers and stuff for organization projects until you've done all of your purging and organizing so you know exactly what you need containers for but because I'm pretty familiar with what's in these closets I think this will do I got a couple of these stacking baskets from bright room I honestly just went absolutely feral in the bright room section these are i think they're new they're stackable bins with lids i don't know nothing revolutionary but i do like the look of them and the price i think they were actually yeah they're pretty fairly priced but i got these little metal basket labels i don't love that they're brass part of me wants to spray paint these black but that might be a little bit excessive for just like a label on a basket that will help because organization only works if you know what's in everything so i got two packs of those i also got this jewelry box this is unrelated to the hallway closet but i have a whole list of things that i need to get done around the apartment i think this video might turn into like a multi-video series because i have a lot to clean and purge and organize but i really don't like my jewelry situation right now so i saw this in the bright room section and got this too and i don't know if i'm just oblivious but i've never Never seen tulips this beautiful light purple shade so I would normally wait to get flowers until everything's clean but I couldn't pass these up because I swear I've never seen this color before where do I even start maybe I should start with the cardboard I'll be right back wow amazing should we just call it a day probably should have mentioned that it's like 4 30 on a friday so this is kind of the last thing that i want to be doing but i also told myself i would do it this morning so these are just the consequences of my own actions i think the best place to start is with jackets and coats because there are a lot of them that i now know that i haven't touched in like years so let's get rid of some of these polly's right by my feet so let's do this it also just dawned on me that i totally meant to get like space bags at target so i'll have to go back out for that but yes 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 no we've got our first no our second no third no this is kind of iconic i feel like i have to keep this it's this big xl corduroy collar levi jacket that i thrifted in high school could not tell you the last time i wore it but i need to keep it that last statement is probably going to be a common theme in this video yes to the super puff no to the white jacket yes to the red puffer although i don't think i wore this this year but whenever i wear it i get compliments so maybe this is a sign that i need to break it out 
let me just go through the rest of them really quick and then we'll see how much I can purge out of here. I eliminated what felt like a decent amount, but doesn't quite look like a decent amount. I do think I'm gonna have to stop and go to Target and get those space bags because I just think putting all of the super puffy ones in space bags on the top level makes the most sense and then it'll clear up a lot of space to organize in these shelves right here. I don't even know if you can see them, but there's a stack of shelves right there. So let's go run back to Target for what's probably gonna be second of many trips. Probably flagged by my local Target security teams. I'm in there a suspicious amount. And of course, they have black labels. Okay, clearly I didn't look close enough when I was here earlier. Let's see how a couple of these look on those ones I just got. Okay, I totally think I prefer these and they're the same price once you think about it because the four pack was 20 These are 10 for two So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy these and then I'll just come back and return the others because These have more space and I can actually write out like kind of like a little list of exactly what's in each bin I think this is good. Oh my gosh, and now there's these okay Where were these like an hour ago? These are the cheapest. It's seven dollars for three. Let me go see how these ones look what one do we prefer? I don't know if you can see, but the clip is like two different sizes. I don't think it'll fit in that little opening. Okay, now to find what we're actually here for. I'm in this section and there's also these like hanging organizer and then the over the door shoe organizer. If push comes to shove, I could do one of these, but let's just see what I can do. I don't know really what I need. Cubes would probably be the best, honestly. I don't know, four times the storage, great for comforters and blankets three pack do we think three is enough i would honestly say no we'll get one and we'll get two just because that's all they have and now i'm just looking very carefully to see if there's anything else that jogs my memory that i might need i think we're good oh but i do love this over the door organizer i've never really seen one that has it stacked like that bright room is so good All right, let's see what we're working with. Okay. Okay, these are massive. I think I might've made a mistake. Okay, wait a minute. This is how many puffers? This is three puffer coats and a puffer vest. So actually I would say that this size worked pretty well. Might have to go find more of these because I have two of these and four of the extra large. Polly, you cannot eat that. You will destroy it. Okay, I spoke too soon. I was able to fit two of the extra large ones and then that one that I filled up. So now the only coats in here are hanging right here and this is just kind of what I thought I might need for spring. Now my plan is to kind of just work top down and organize as I go. There's already a couple bins in here that are somewhat organized. It's kind of just what I threw together when I was unpacking in the first place. So it's not like a true organization. It's just kind of items grouped together, but some of them can probably get thrown out. There's actually a box at the bottom of the closet from the move that I have not touched. So arguably everything in there can get tossed. I did put the tree skirt up there. That was at the bottom of the closet. You probably didn't even notice it, but it's a metal tree skirt. I was really hoping it would fit under the king bed, but it doesn't. So that's where it's gonna live. And I just wanted to try out the bright room containers right here. And I think those are gonna work perfectly. So I'll definitely need to take a third trip back to Target to get more of those. Unfortunately, I don't really have an explanation for why I own a lot of this stuff, but I'm gonna do one bin of candles. This is like a travel bin and there's like a luggage scale, hotel room lock. What are these called? Like the travel adapters for outlets. That's all in here. This bin is going to be like Poshmark slash shipping supplies. I actually have my own label printer. It comes in handy more often than you think. So that's in there and that's the bin so far. I did get one longer bin, like twice the size of those smaller ones, I think I'm gonna use this for all of the ski stuff that I've accumulated this year. Like base layers and little headbands and things like that. Like ski socks, I have a ton of hot hands. It's also what's in that box that I mentioned from the move that's never been touched is ski stuff, or not ski stuff, like cold weather mittens, stuff like that. I'm gonna go through that and probably donate a decent amount. Now we need to make the little labels for each one. Well, I'm just gonna label them as I put them up in case stuff changes. Polly is licking my leg while I try and write this. Lady. Okay, so it's like a folded card. So 
you have one, two, three, four opportunities to label it before you need to cut a new piece of paper. I ran out of bins, but I did make some more progress. I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow. But most importantly, I now have a spot for the cross wave. Good morning, it's the next day. Went out to breakfast, got a coffee, and on the way home, I actually stopped at Target to get those containers that I need to finish this closet. Figured I should have like a go big or go home mentality, so I just got a ton so I didn't have to go back because I think this should be enough to finish up this closet and the top section of that one. Closet, but I'll show you kind of the categories that I did for these bins. I have candles, ski stuff, and cold weather accessories, travel accessories, shipping and packing supplies, cord speakers and tripods, gym stuff like my ball of bangles. This one is empty, but I have a feeling that the more I organize the apartment, the more I will find things that need homes. So this one's gonna stay empty and probably get filled over the next week or so when I do more organizing. This one has sunscreen, a bug spray, and sunglasses. This one is all of that poly stuff. Another empty bin for future organizing. These are like beach towels and these are outdoor blankets a bunch of tools put some like tailgating supplies in there This is a box full of other boxes <laughs> like Apple iPhone boxes and everything that you know, no one ever wants to get rid of I can't believe I bought a box to keep my free boxes in that should probably just get thrown away This is Polly's litter actually. I need to go buy her some more This is just where I keep that the new home for the crosswave coolers These actually have tote bags in them I am using the coolers as storage But maybe they will go in one of these empty bins because it'll be kind of a pain when I actually want to use the cooler To have to like empty all the bags out of it. This is Polly's carrier There's a couple ski helmets under these coats, but then those are all of the spring coats and then this is a big open space I guess I could put hooks or shelves right here But I am trying to be mindful that eventually I will want to pull those coats down and have access to them So I did leave this space open so in the winter maybe like the puffer coats and stuff could hang there This is the whole closet. I think it looks so much better This was worth every penny the price of these boxes really started to add up But i'm glad that I went to target to start off I was going to go to container store But i'm so glad that I didn't go down that rabbit hole because it would have cost me probably like triple but i love it looks so good let's move on to that other closet i already organized this closet as a project a couple of months ago and it stayed pretty organized but this top shelf is the problem We've reached the stage of organizing where this is not necessarily the fun stuff to organize, but it's nice to have inventory of. This is like my bin of extra pieces, I guess you would say, to things around the apartment. This is light bulbs, command strips, batteries, those little floor pads. These are all tools, sandpaper, paintbrushes, super glue. I don't know if that's the best place for that, but. Anyways, I'm gonna make some pretty descriptive labels for these bins and then we'll put these up in what I call the cleaning closet Okay, these ended up fitting perfectly all of these are modular So they have other sizes too and they stack within each other. I don't know. It's perfect. I love stuff like this I hope this is a collection that target keeps around for a long time That's kind of the downside of buying stuff from like a quick turnover store is I don't know two years down the road You just don't really know if you're gonna be able to continue with this set if you want everything to be matching. This was the existing storage solution that I kind of made for this closet a couple of months ago. These hanging baskets, I definitely did not install them correctly because you can see how that one's a little bit angled. But I really like these because this is something that can easily transfer to a new space more so than even like bins and boxes Like I feel like in every future apartment or home I will probably have a use for these the only other thing that I really want to buy for this closet is Kind of like a basket situation something that hangs right there that I can throw dirty dish towels in because right now whenever there's dish towels or like rags or stuff That's dirty. I just throw them right there and then it just 
annoys me but I don't want to put them in with my regular laundry because these are a separate load because of all like the cleaning stuff on them they're just like a little bit dirty I don't want to wash those with like my clothes so I want some sort of laundry basket thing on the inside of the store to hold rags and dish towels and stuff like that that I just don't want mixed in with my regular loads of laundry today is Saturday and I think I'm about to just pause on this project and save the rest for tomorrow because I want to enjoy my Saturday afternoon and relax a little bit this is all donation stuff and something I've been trying to be better about is not just bringing everything to one location for like the ease of convenience. There's some winter clothes, there's some gloves and hats, there's backpacks, there's towels, and like every kind of category of thing could be maximized if I just brought it to a different place. I'm gonna spend some time and like look into the best place to donate like certain things that I have to get rid of and then whatever doesn't really have like a clear place to go we'll just end up going to like you know a thrift store but I think that will be one of my projects tomorrow because I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my day happy Sunday we're gonna take a pause on the hallway project and I brought you into the bedroom I figured before I sat down and sorted those donations I might as well go through my own closet and see what's gonna get purged out of there all this stuff on the bed is stuff that should fit into my closet but right now it doesn't so I need to find a few things to get rid of and then all of this is backed up laundry because the laundry basket that's in that cabinet right there is full to the brim and this is because the hallway is obviously blocked and I can't get to the laundry machine so there's probably some donations within my laundry even but let's see what's in here this is like all of my winter clothes and since hopefully winter is nearly over I think now would be a good time to see what I didn't wear and see if any of this can go. Definitely need to go through my bikinis. I have no idea what's in these. So let's spend the next like 30 minutes and just quickly go through this closet. And then today is my last day to ship all of this Poshmark stuff. So this also needs to get done today. Some would say that this was extremely unnecessary, but I really like it because I have quite a few bikinis that came with like a matching scrunchie or have removable straps that I kind of take on and off. So I like that they're all in one little bag. Like this one has a scrunchie and straps. Now it's all together and then when I'm packing, I mean I already had to dig through this bin so I was already used to digging for bikinis but now I can just like look for a certain fabric and pull out like both of the pieces. And then when I'm packing, I can just like throw that into my bag. And if I'm traveling home and it's still wet or something, I can put it back in this bag and then I have plenty to like replace the next basket is bags so i'm just pulling aside all my little purses and bags and stuff and i discovered my longchamp collection i mean i knew it was in here but this is all of my longchamp bags from like high school and college this is the only one that i've like truly bought bought this was like my first one Ugh, memories this is my first one i got it like nordstrom or something love her trusty bag um, and then the rest I got while I was working at Plato's Closet because people would bring them in and then I could like use my employee discount. And I just like love having different colors. Like, look at all these. So pretty. I need, I feel like these are coming back. I need to start using these. This is like the biggest one that I have. I don't even know how big it is, but I'm glad that I found these because I've been meaning to pull out my black one and kind of use this more. So if you don't know what these are, they're purses, like tote bags that fold up so they're great for travel too because you can bring it as like an extra bag so cute and then it's just a big bottomless pit oh there's stuff in this well the bed is cleared off now i have my purging from my closet and now those poshmark orders i think are next on the list the closet looks pretty good put all those clothes in there so it's jam-packed again i'm in full poshmark shipping mode now i use my rollo printer to print out all of my labels trying to like cover people's addresses because obviously i don't want to show those and then i also write everyone like their own little thank you note like i noticed this girl got my pink heels and she lives in vegas so i was like i'm so excited these heels get a second life in vegas i do feel like most of the people that shop my poshmark are people that follow me because I don't do like a good job with like keywords or anything. So I don't know how people would have found the posts otherwise. But there's probably one or two people who are like, what do you mean thank you for supporting me? But I don't know. I'm only able to fill nine orders right now because that's all that I have mailers for. But I'm going to package these up and then I'll probably bring them to the post office. Even though it's just a drop off. They're not open on Sundays. And then maybe I'll be able to pick up some more of these while I'm there. All right, let's go drop all of this at the post office. <laughs> 
All right, the last little project I'm gonna finish today is sorting my donations and deciding where stuff is gonna go, and then tomorrow I can drop it all off. But if you have the time and you have the means, I really recommend like dividing up your donations. I feel like it does just mean a lot more to bring them directly to these causes than like bringing them to a thrift store or something. Hello, I wish I could tell you it was the next day, but it's actually three days later because that's how projects like this tend to go for me. I break it up into days, I do when I feel motivated to do it, and then I kind of force myself to do little chunks throughout like the course of a week. If I try and do this all in one day, I normally just get like sloppy towards the end. But I did go to Target yesterday, so we'll roll those clips. I'm at Target right now. I'm gonna run in and get a couple of things that I need for the apartment, but then also some stuff for those donations. My camera is on its last leg. That's not your computer, that's literally my camera. But anyways, let's run in and get those. I'm also gonna bring some stuff to Play-Dohs while I'm over here because this Play-Dohs is better and I had a couple things that I didn't really wanna donate. Sue me, I'm human, I wanna make some money, but I didn't really want to put on Poshmark either because it's just taking a lot of time right now and I'm gonna have a busy couple of weeks coming up. But let's run in. I need some paper towels. We all get two. And I want to get a couple more of those storage bins, but they don't have them at this location. So now I'm just going to shop for like the donation stuff. I've always loved the branding on this like Target brand cat food or pet food in general. Like look how cute that is. Let's get a couple of these. I'm going to get a box of these. And they said they need small animal food. So I mean, I'd rather just get the stuff that I feed Polly, but I'll just get this. Another place needs full-size cleaning supplies, so I'll grab a couple of these sprays. Okay, I grabbed a few other things, but now I'm gonna check out because Play-Doh's just opened so I can go drop my clothes up there. And now we're back here today. I have all of my boxes organized with what goes where and then the little sticky note is where I'm bringing it. And then I have a pile of stuff that's going to just like a thrift store. All right, let's go run those errands. I've made a few drop-offs and this is taking way longer than I thought because it's everything is just like scattered around town. But there was the cutest little bunny at the Humane Society. His name was Fluffy. He was three years old and he like came to you when you called his name and he like licked me through the cage. It was the cutest thing in the world. I would have left with him but someone got to him first. His adoption was already pending. So whoever got Fluffy, treat him right. But also oh, the place that I took a bunch of those full-size products to had a thrift store attached to it. And you know I had to look. I got a long shop. Isn't that so weird? I was literally just saying how I like wanted to bring these back. Got a green one for like $10. Then I got this like crochet shirt cover up thing and a necklace that I think I'm gonna try and use as a waist belt, waist chain, <laughs> waist belt. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've mentioned this, but a friend that's in PA school is actually coming to stay in the guest room for the next month starting this weekend and he just had the opportunity to do one of his rotations in Raleigh instead of like where his school is so he chose to do that and just gonna stay in the guest room it's great because i have a lot of travel coming up and i was a little bit stressed about like finding accommodations for polly but now she has like a live-in nanny with that since he's gonna be here for so long i want to clear out some space in the guest room closet that was kind of a motivation for cleaning out those closets in the hallway as well just because i want him to be able to find stuff if he needs i don't know why he would need things that I was organizing but you know what I mean I just wanted the apartment to make sense to someone who is staying there alone for a few weeks at a time just because I'm gonna be in and out so I can really only stretch this out as far as this weekend because I need to get my list of projects which is just like the bathroom or the guest bathroom I want to clear out like a drawer in there guest closet those drawers under the guest room bed I want one of those or two of those to be clear for him pantry space fridge space I think that's it just dropped all of the thrift store donations off and I'll admit that I did indeed go inside and buy more stuff. Um, I got this necklace. It's just like a big seashell on it. I just think this is like such a vibe with a bikini, like in Mexico. Am I going to Mexico anytime soon? No. And then I got same vibe as like that necklace turned waist chain situation. I found this which fits around my waist. There's no clasp so I literally just have to like wrestle it onto my body but it's all seashells. So like again, picture that with a bikini, little seashell chain around my waist, or I guess I could wear it as a necklace. I don't know. I thought it was cute. That was like $4 total. And it's not like this takes up a ton of space, so it works. Anyways, let's go to container store really quickly and then go home. Probably go to bed, I'm so tired. 
But what about something like this? That's just like not gonna hold a lot, but I need this just like bigger. I'm obsessed with these two. These are those little peel and stick things that I have everywhere. Do I need more? Maybe. I have these in cabinets, like with plates and stuff. These are the risers I got when I moved into the apartment. I love these. These are stupid expensive, but they look incredible. I love those. While I'm here, I'll point out some of my favorites. This is the trash can that I have in both bathrooms. It's the one where I like lift it up and the bag is underneath. I actually think it's cheaper on Amazon maybe. I'll put it on my storefront. Pretty positive it is, but incredible. I do need more of these. I have a simple human trash can with a little scent thing and the scent thing actually does work. This one's open. Oh, are they all open? That's weird. Okay. These iDesign hinged stacking boxes are what I store my nail polish stuff in because I can separate it nicely. It all stacks onto itself. I have a big one that holds the lamp and everything. And then I have four of these. I've also always wanted to get this candle. It smells amazing, but I also just love like the black and white. Okay, this is the solution I'm gonna try. We'll see if this works. It's perfect. Look. I did three command hooks. I bought two and then I already knew that I had one. Every command hook has different like weight limits. So that's something that kind of stinks about all of the loose command hooks that I just put in that bin is I don't actually know what their weight limits are. But I knew that I had one of these. It turns out it's five pounds. So this hook situation should theoretically hold 15 pounds. That's exactly what I was envisioning. And clearly I need to do a load of them. Oh, and I saved two of these bins. I didn't even think about it, but one or maybe two of the donations that I gave today were in bins like this. And I kind of regret that. So I feel like I could have used these in the guest room closet. I still have two. Let's check in on this closet. The crosswave's out right now. I was using it in the bathroom earlier. Do you ever just like organize something and then you'll just stop what you're doing and go look at it? I'm just admiring my own work. <laughs> And with that, the hallway decluttering and organizing project is complete, at least for now. We'll see what I uncover in the other parts of the apartment that need to be stored in those closets. Huge thank you to Bissell for sponsoring the Bissell portions of today's vlog, and thank you for watching. I hope this gave you some entertainment or a little company while you're doing some spring cleaning and deorganizing. Deorganizing? Decluttering. Anyways, I'm off to my next project. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll also be at Stagecoach. So if you're interested in seeing Stagecoach content, make sure you're subscribed here but then also follow me on like tiktok and instagram because i'll be posting a ton more over there thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video i will see you in the next one Bye.